In 1066, William the Conqueror invaded Britain from what is now northern France. Within six years, he controlled all of England, but the fierce Welsh tribes would resist for a further 200 years. At the end of the 13th century, William's descendant, Edward I, launched a full-scale war of conquest. His goal, to place Wales firmly under English control. Harlech Castle, on a spur of rock near the Irish Sea in North Wales, is one of a ring of fortresses he built to stamp his authority on the land. In the centuries that followed, Harlech gained a reputation as a near impregnable stronghold. In the 15th century, when the houses of York and Lancaster battled for the throne of England, the castle resisted siege for seven years. In 1642, the fortress was besieged again during the English Civil War, when the forces of the king and the parliamentary government struggled for control of Britain. After holding out for five years, Harlech was the last royalist castle on the British mainland to surrender to the parliamentary forces. Unlike the other castles of Edward I's Iron Ring, this one, Carnarvon, was less a defensive fortress and more an expression of English dominance. Modelled on the walls of Constantinople, the castle has a series of polygonal towers. The ten-sided Eagle Tower was once decorated with stone eagles that have since weathered away. Its fearsome gatehouses are peppered with murder holes from where the castle's defenders poured boiling oil and water down on anyone foolhardy enough to attack. It was here in 1284 that Edward's Queen Eleanor gave birth to their first son, the very first Welsh-born but English Prince of Wales. And it was here in 1969 that the present Prince of Wales, Prince Charles, was invested by his mother, Queen Elizabeth. Northeast of Carnarvon on a coastal ridge overlooking the River Conwy stands what is arguably the most magnificent of Edward I's Welsh fortresses. Designed by the master architect James of St George, Conwy is defended by eight towers and two fortified gateways. All of which counted for little in 1401 when during the last War of Independence, two Welsh rebel brothers surprised the watchmen and seized control of the castle for three months. They eventually surrendered in exchange for a full pardon by the king. 